Hey everyone, in this video I will be comparing Joplin to Loxic, both of which are very excellent platforms that you can just use to take your notes and have your ideas in just one place where you can just come up with even more brighter ideas when you just see all your notes and ideas in one place. So both of which obviously have key features which I will be talking about uh, very soon. But first, first let's just uh, go ahead and talk about Joplin. So Joplin is a free platform which helps you to take notes. It's more, uh, it's the more straightforward uh, one of the two. So it's just, it's very, very focused on making your note taking experience as simple as possible and as straightforward as possible. Yet, it's a very, very powerful tool with many things that you can uh, create with it. Uh, Joplin is available for Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you have uh, a PC, you can just come to this uh, website over here, joplinapp.org, and you can just start uh, by downloading the app, and you can just start working on it uh, real quick. If you're not um, so much of a tech, per tech person, you can easily just uh, understand Joplin. As I said, it's very simple. You don't really need much to understand it. So Joplin uses a language which is called Markdown. If we come to the Joplin welcome page over here, it tells us that it uses Markdown format. And if you want to see how that looks like, we can just go over here where we can just uh, use the Markdown format. And this is how it looks like. So if we scroll down a little bit, we it could uh it's it tells us more about this markdown markdown is a lightweight markup language with plain text formatting syntax and it supports uh this language which is going to be very easy to use and help you uh format your notes in a very um organized way also in joplin you can synchronize your uh, notes if we come down to the bottom left, we see this button right here. It says synchronize. If we click on it, you will find three options. So, as I said, Joplin is free, but it has this service, which is Joplin Cloud, which is going to be paid. I'm going to go over that in a second, but you can also use Dropbox and you can use OneDrive. Uh, so, Joplin Cloud, if we go back to the website, we just click on it. As you can see, they have three different plans that you can just start using if you want to synchronize your notes using it. Uh, it has all these options. But other than that, all the other futures are absolutely for free. So keep that in mind. Now, if we uh, come here, we, we can uh, obviously see that it has Dropbox and OneDrive. So if you don't want to opt in to purchase the Joplin Cloud, you can just use one of those. Uh, Joplin offers end-to-end -end, uh, encryption, which is going to basically uh, help your notes to be as private as it can be. And it's going to, if I can just find it over here. Yes, Joplin supports end-to-end -end encryption on all applications. So it's basically going to protect your notes and it's going to be where only the owner of the notes, basically you, are going to be able to read it. So as it says here, where only the owner of the data, note, uh, notebooks, tags, or whatever it may be can read it. Uh, for for end-to-end -end encryption, for Joplin, you need to actually enable it manually though. So now we know that it has security what else joplin has tags and notebooks if we go back to the uh, application we can see that we can just add tags and also we can just create notebooks which are basically going to be uh, a category where you can have uh, tags and it's it's, it's just some, a simple way to organize your notes in one space so if you just have a few tags about uh, i don't know studying you can have those and you will find all the notes underneath it same thing goes for the notebooks as well so we have other things like tools like the web clipper 
uh, if we just go here in the tips, it tells us about Web Clipper. The Web Clipper is a browser extension that allows you to save web pages and screenshots from your browser and start using it in Joplin. That means they can use the uh, pages or screenshots from your browser and just put it or just pin it on your notes in Joplin, which is very useful. Also, it allows for plugins. So if we scroll a little bit down, you can see that it allows plugins, which is very, very useful. So you can use it to uh, add more futures to Joplin, which is very, very great. So as you can see, it's not really complicated to use Joplin. It's very straightforward and it's more focused on just taking notes and making it look good, which is a very good thing. Uh, so let's not take that away from Joplin. It's a very, very powerful tool. So what about, uh, no, let's go to the website first. What about Loxic? So Loxic, just like Joplin, is also going to be a note uh, taking what, uh, platform, but basically more complex and it has more options to it. So it's not just taking notes and that's it. It is block pay based. So if we go here, block based means it's just like folders and windows, if you know what that means. So you got this, for example, if we I just create a new line, as you can see, it's another, another it just simply creates a different bullet point and we can create things under it so here's my first daily note for example and i can just use that to create a different uh, topic basically if i just go here i can just type in uh, test for example and then i just can click on tech test and just create a, another one low now as you can see on top we can find the directory now if I go back here I can just click on those and it will take me to it if I click on hello I just can go back and so on I can also create here if I don't want it to be underneath here so block based which is different than Joplin obviously uh, you don't have that in Joplin so what else uh, First, let's talk about the basics. It does support multiple uh, platforms. If we go to downloads here, as we can see, it supports Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, Android, and you can just simply go to homepage and download, download it for Windows. If we scroll down a little bit, it will tell us what this, uh, basically summarize what you can do with uh, Locksick, but if I want to just get it in a few sentences, Loxic is more focused on connecting your notes together. So unlike Joplin, where you can just take notes, and obviously you can have tags to organize them, but here in Loxic, you can just connect your notes in a more connective way. So simply, this note connects to that, and you can just uh, see it and, and visualize it in one place. which and help with the uh, the canvas and the graph view, which I will talk about in a second, are going to be very, very useful or simple to actually just visualize your notes. So I talked about whiteboard. If we go to uh, Loxic here, we will find that we can create a whiteboard. Whiteboard is basically uh, a place where you can just, it's an infinite place where you can just draw your ideas uh, create your notes in, in in a graph view and you can just see everything like in this uh, example right here if i can just zoom in you can just hold control and mouse wheel to zoom in and we can just see how it looks like we can draw things and we can uh, just create blocks where we can have text inside of it and just basically connect everything to together, together using this whiteboard. It's a very useful tool to have all your thoughts in one place. It also supports daily notes. So you can just have every day, it's November 10th right now. So it's going to help you to create daily notes because it has that future and also journals. So uh, that's very great. And if you have multiple notes that are connected to each other, you can just go to graph view and it will show you everything in here 
which is going to be great. You can just uh, see the notes over here and click on them to uh, basically just go to them and check them out from a graph view, which is awesome. It also uses markdown language. And if I just go ahead and open back the website, I need to say that uh, for the pricing, by the way, it's 100% free. It's, it's, it doesn't even uh, have any plans like Joplin, but it does uh, rely on donations. I have a note here that I have just created, which has bullet points of the futures. So Joplin. Joplin's price is free as we discussed, and it has a premium plan or plans for storage and other futures. It supports a wide range of platforms, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux, and uses markdown syntax, which helps you format your uh, notes in a better, better way and more organized. Synchronizes notes using OneDrive and a Joplin Cloud, obviously. Uh, it has end-to-end -end encryption. Also, I forgot to mention for uh, Loxic, it does keep your notes safe and they really uh, say that a lot actually. So uh, don't worry about Loxic, it's going to keep your notes safe. Uh, tags and notebooks, which are going to help you create uh, a more organized environment within your uh, Joplin. Uh, it does have an uh, extension like Web Clipper, which, where you can just add your uh, web uh, pages and screenshots over on your uh, Joplin. Supports plugins for more futures and offers a more straightforward no note-taking experience. And it's very easy to use and just go around and figure things out by yourself using Joplin. It's not going to be complicated, even for people who are not very into tech. Now, Logsec. Logsec price 100% free, accepts donations. It doesn't really have plans, not for storage, not for anything. It's absolutely for free. Although I saw some uh, something about uh, Logsec Cloud also, which is in beta. Maybe they will charge us in the future for it. Who knows? It supports a wide range of platforms, as I showed you earlier. It uses Markdown syntax, just like uh, Joplin, which again is very simple to learn. It's, it's, it's a... Uh, really, really good for formatting a really looking good uh, note. It's block based, as I said, bullet points and all of that. It's just like folders. You can go from one note to other. It's simply going to help you connect your notes easier. Has journal future and daily notes, which is very good. You can use that to do lists and you can just have your uh, diary, for example, journal. All of those things are going to be uh, used with these futures. It offers graph view in order to just see everything and visual visualize all the thoughts that you have created uh, using Loxic. It supports plugins for more futures. If we go here, I didn't show you this. We can just click over here and we can just click on plugins. And if we go to the marketplace, as you can see, it has a lot of plugins that we can just choose from. Uh, what else? It has the whiteboard functionality, which is arguably one of the best functions that it has. And more connectivity and thought linking is basically what it's superior at. So to compare, which one should you choose? If you want a more straightforward experience, you just want to take notes in a fancy way, Joplin is for you. Uh, Joplin is going to be the platform for you. If you want to go more in depth and you want to connect your thoughts and just see them in one place and just have your notes, diary, uh, work notes, everything in just one place and you just want to keep track on them, I think Luxic is going to be the platform for you. But both platforms are very excellent and uh, don't sleep on any of them. They are both very excellent pl platforms for note taking. It's just one is more complex and has more futures uh, in terms of connectivity. And the other one is more relaxed and simple and straightforward, yet very, very powerful. So that's all I have for you for this video. I hope you have um, benefited from it. And thanks for watching.